Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for Bible time. This morning, we're gonna do something called the pledge. When we pledge, we pledge to the American flag right here. And I'm gonna need some a helper to come and hold this flag for me. Carter, will you come be my helper this morning? Carter's gonna hold the flag for us right here. There it is, there's our American flag. Now boys and girls and boys and girls that are watching, I want you to stand, class stand. Thank you. Now when we pledge to the flag, we're gonna take our right hand and we're gonna put it over our heart. So take your right hand, put it over your heart, just like this. And boys and girls watching, you can do it with us. Oh, um, Joseph, will you stand and join us and put your right hand over your heart and then your other hands by your side? And we're going to say the pledge. You try and say it with me. Okay. And Carter, you're going to hold up the flag super high, just like that. Jonathan, put your hand over your heart. We're going to put our hand just like that. Great job. I love that hard work. Wonderful. We're going to stand like a lady, Kyla, right here with your hand over your heart. Put it right here. Thank you. Here we go. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, boys and girls. You may be seated. Every morning we're going to say the pledge every morning. Thank you, Carter, for your help. I love that. Yesterday, we sang a song, Jesus Loves Me. Let's sing that together. Class, stand. Boys and girls, thank you for standing. Let's do it together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Boys and girls, you may be seated. We talked about this Bible right here. Who wrote the Bible? God. God did. Is every word true? Yes. Yes, every word is true. Jonathan, is every word true? Stand and tell me. No. Is, who wrote this Bible? God. God did. So is every word true? Say yes, every word is true. Every word is true. Good job. The Bible, and I love to read the Bible, and we've been learning that verse, the very first verse that is found in the Bible, Genesis 1-1. Look at this verse card right here. Class, stand. Oh, I think we could do better than that. Sit down. Class, stand. Boys and girls watching, you stand and join with us and let's say this verse together. And then I want to look for some helpers to see who has already learned our verse. Let's say it together. Get out your number one. Jonathan, stand and get out your number one for me. Stand up. Come and hold this card for me. There we go. Okay, can you hold it up high? There we go. Begin. Genesis 1-1. One, one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. Great job. You may be seated. Let's see. Boys stand. Boys stand. And boys watching, you stand and join us too. 
all the boys. Boys, look at my card and you say it. Begin. Genesis. Oh, boys, I can't hear you. Can we try that again? Look at my card. Get out your number one. Oh, Joseph, stand up straight and tall, but I like how fast you got that number one. Way to go. Good. Stand right by your chair. Great job. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. Boys, show me your muscles. You are hiding God's word already in your heart. You may be seated. Girls, do you think you could do a nice job as well? Girls, stand. Girls watching, you join us too. Girls, let me see your number one. Are you ready? Elijah, it's the girls' turn. So we're going to let the girls sing. Elijah, you can sit down. The girls, you say the verse. Here we go. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning. Genesis 1. Girls, pat yourselves on the back. That was beautiful. And you said that all by yourself. I am so proud of you. Way to go. And girls watching, you pat yourself on the back as well. Nice job. Class, stand. Oh, let's do that again. Class, sit down. I need all my helpers when we're singing about God. Class, stand. Oakley, stand and join us. Let's sing, My God is So Great. Did you bring your muscles? My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are You may be seated. I love singing that song. And Kyla, I like those twinkle stars. Great job. You may be seated. Jonathan, go ahead and sit down. Way to go. Well, I need helpers this morning. Yesterday, Mrs. Stewart prayed, and I need helpers this morning. Jonathan, go ahead and sit down, and let's see who I could get. I would like for Johanna to come. And William, William, come. You're going to help me pray this morning. You're going to be my prayer helpers. And we're going to thank God for some things. Who would you like to thank God for? Um, for everything. Can you think of something specific you would like to thank God for? How about, would you like to thank God for the mommies and daddies? Yes. Okay. You thank God for the mommies and daddies. And William, who would you like to thank God for? Um, um, my daddy. Okay. How about you thank God for the brothers and the sisters? Yeah. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Okay. Because I know you have a big brother in our school. Okay. Here we go. Prayer position. Oh, I love how fast Angelina did that. Boys and girls watching, remember prayer position means our hands are folded under our chin. Our eyes are closed tight so that we can think just about God. And our hands are folded. Okay. All right, Johanna, can you get in prayer position? Close your eyes and fold your hands under your chin. And you can pray and talk to God. Do you need some help? Yes. Yes. Here we go. Dear God. Dear God. We love you. We love you. Thank you for the mommies and daddies. Thank you for the mommies and daddies. Help them to have a good day. Help them to have a good day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the sunshine. Can you talk a little bit louder so we can hear you? Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for the brothers and the sisters. Thank you for the brothers and the sisters. Help them to do their best. Help them do their best. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
all eyes closed, Mrs. Stewart's turn to pray. And then we will sing another song. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you that we get to learn about you. Thank you for the beautiful world that you made. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. I have a fun song that we're going to learn today. I love singing new songs, especially about Jesus. This song is about creation. I want you to listen. Just listen as we hear this new song. Oh, who can make a flower? I'm sure I can't, can you? Oh, who can make a flower? No one but God is true. There we go. Okay, listen again. We're going to listen to it one more time. Just listen. Oh, who can make a flower? I'm sure I can't, can you? Oh, who can make a flower? No one but God is true. Now it's going to be your turn. This time you're going to hum. Boys and girls watching, you hum and do the motions with me. Let me show you the motions. Oh, who can make a flower? I'm sure I can't, can you? Okay, you do it with me this time. We're just humming. Oh, who can make a flower? I'm sure I can, can you? Oh, who can make a flower? No one but God is true. Now we're going to stand and sing together. Boys and girls watching, you stand with us. Class, stand. Get out your flower. Let me see your pretty flower. Oh, Milo, what color is your flower? Oh, pink, stand and hold your pink flower. What color is your flower, Catherine? Purple. It's purple, mine's yellow, because that's my favorite color. Okay, here we go, we're gonna sing together. Get your flower ready. Oh, who can make a flower? I'm sure I can, can you? Oh, who can make a flower? No one but God is true. Great job. You may be seated. Later, we're going to get to sing that song again, and I'm going to use a helper to come and hold my pink flower and sing that song again. So exciting. Class, stand. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me before our Bible story. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Great job. You may be seated. Boys and girls, close up your Bible. Close it up. Put it right here in your lap. I love how hard you're working today. And I'm excited about sharing more about God's creation. When we talked about God's creation the first time, we talked about how God created the world and how when he looked down on the earth, it was nothing but what, Angelina? You're right, stand and tell me. Dark. It was darkness. And God decided he wanted to make a beautiful world for us. So he looked down in the world and he said, let there be what, Lucy? Light. Stand and tell me. Light. Thank you. She was listening. Let there be light. But did God stop right there? No. No. He didn't stop with just the light. Then he looked down at the world and he separated the heavens from the earth. He gave us the air to breathe and the water um, that we needed. And remember I told you he didn't let it just squish together. He separated it so that we would have that water and the air to breathe. 
But did he stop right there, boys and girls? No. no, he did not. He still wanted to make our world beautiful. And then he, remember, he said to the dirt, he said to the land to come up through the water. And then he made some beautiful trees and on the trees, the beautiful yummy fruit and the vegetables that grew in the, from the ground and the beautiful flowers and all the wonderful things that God made that we get to look at when we go outside. God did on the third day, but he didn't stop right there, boys and girls. So exciting. He wanted to give us more beautiful things to look at. During the daytime, he wanted to give us something to shine brightly so that we could see so that when we came to school, it wasn't dark outside. What is that picture right there, Bethany? Uh, the sun. The sun. That's right. He gave us that wonderful warm sun to help the grass to grow and to help us to be able to come to school and mommies and daddies to go to work. And then look what he put in the sky at nighttime. Let's see, Catherine, what did he put in the sky at nighttime? Stand and tell me. The moon. The moon, good job. So he gave us the sun during the day and the moon at night so it wouldn't be so dark, so we wouldn't be scared. He thought of everything because he loved us so much. Oakley, you've been working so hard over there. What else did he put in the sky? Stand and tell me, you're right. Stars. Stars. Oh, boys and girls watching, aren't you glad that God loves us so much that he thought about us during the day and at night? Oh, I am so glad that God loves us, that he created this beautiful world for us to live in. Well, he didn't stop right there, boys and girls. Look what he gave us in the sky. Up in the heavens, up in the sky, he put some beautiful birds up there for us to look at. And in the waters, he put some fish in there. Maybe some of your favorites are in this picture right here. Jonathan, what do you see in my picture? A shark. You see a shark. God put the great big shark in there. God put the itty bitty little goldfish and the great big sharks in the same waters to live in there. Up in the sky. Cyrus, what do you see in the sky? A shark. Um, uh, a shark. Uh, uh, um. Do you see some birds? I do. I see some of my favorite birds up there. Do you see that little bird right in the middle? That one's the hummingbird. He's so tiny. Mrs. Stewart got to go to Canada this summer and I saw a little hummingbird for the first time. It was beautiful. I'm so glad that God put those beautiful birds in the sky for us and the fish in the sea. And I can't wait to learn more about what God has for us and what God created in our next lesson.